I have a lot of books that I need to show today. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know where they came from. I do not have a problem. Two Solitudes by Hugh McLeanan. Amy's favorite book from the Dusty Bookshelf. I'm going to read this soon. I should have started this by now, but I'm reading three or four books at once right now. I don't know what this is about. I just know it's Canadian literature. The Complete Poems of Emily Dickinson, edited by Thomas H. Johnson. What have I gotten myself into? I don't know. Small Steps by Lewis Satcher, the sequel to Holes, because there's a sequel. Did you know? Did you know? I knew that, but I didn't really want to read this because Holes is so great that I'm scared this will ruin it. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. She wrote Night Film, which I read two years ago, maybe? I loved the book. It was great. I don't know anything about this one, though. I think it takes place at a boarding school, and that's all I know. Sudden Sea, The Great Hurricane of 1938 by R.A. Scotty. This book is about the Great Hurricane of 1938. Yes, it is. Choke by Chuck Palahniuk. I started reading Palahniuk at the beginning of this year, so I'm gonna read more. My coworker said they liked this, but then someone else told me that they didn't like it, and now I'm, and now I'm conflicted. Am I gonna like this? Am I gonna hate this? I was at an antique sale, and there was a lot of books, and I couldn't leave all of the books there. I had to take at least one home with me. So I decided to take Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Am I honestly really interested in this book or have I ever been interested in Wuthering Heights? No, not really, not in the slightest, but it's really pretty and it's a classic that, well, I'll just read it to say that I read it. The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. I watched Red Dragon and Silence of the Lambs and Half of Hannibal, then gave up, but Silence of the Lambs and Red Dragon were really good movies. I read Red Dragon, and now I have The Silence of the Lambs, and I will be reading this very soon. The next book I got, I got for free. Peter Fruchens? Probably butchered that. Book of the Seven Seas. The library that I visit often was getting rid of books like they normally do, and this was, this was sitting there. This was sitting there. A history book about the sea. They were gonna get rid of this. Just let someone take it. So I took it. I went to a bookstore last weekend, I think. Yeah, it was last weekend. There was a sale and most of the books there were a dollar. And when books are a dollar, you, you kind of, you just, you buy a lot of books because they're a dollar. Rant by Chuck Palahniuk. Someone left a comment telling me to read Rant by Chuck Palahniuk. I don't know what this book is about, but it was there, it was a dollar, so I said, hey, why not? Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. I've never read Alice in Wonderland. What? That's crazy, I know. I love all of the movie adaptions, especially one with a certain fellow named Johnny Depp. The Sea Around Us by Rachel Carson, a nonfiction book about the ocean, because I like the ocean. The Chrysanthemums and Other Stories. This is a really cute small book. There are three short stories in here and when I saw it, I thought it was adorable and I had to get it. There are three short stories, like I said. Flight, The Murder, and The Chrysanthemums. Um, I've heard from people that The Chrysanthemums is really good, so Steinbeck, yay! I also have Cup of Gold by John Steinbeck. This one I actually did not pick up at the bookstore. I ordered this one not too long ago. This is Steinbeck's first published novel that he wrote. It is a historical fiction novel about Henry Morgan, who was a privateer, but <sighs> he was a pirate not a privateer. I found a copy of The Miracle Worker, a play by William Gibson. I have read this play many, 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 many a time, but um, I lost my copy a long time ago. I needed another one, and I saw this there, and I picked it up. Robert Louis Stevenson's Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but Treasure Island is my favorite classic, and I have not read anything else by Stevenson, which is ridiculous, so... Now I have this, and I will read this, and then I will read more. Uh, The Stranger by Albert Camus? I'm not sure. I don't know anything about this. I was in the bookstore, I saw one of the workers walking about, and I said, Hey, you recommend a book you think I should read in here area of books. And they looked around, saw this one, picked it up. Have you read this? No, I said. 
No, I have not. All right then, you read this book. And I said, okay. The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. I have seen every freaking adaption you can think of of The Three Musketeers, and I still have not read the book. Shameful, shameful, shameful. The Mysterious Island by Jules Verne. I've only read A Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne, and I love that book. I also have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I will slowly start reading more of Jules Verne. Watership Down by Richard Adams. I'm pretty sure Megan from the Restricted section is reading this right now. I saw it and I thought to myself, huh, that looks interesting. I want it so I got it. I found Death Takes a Holiday by Jennifer Harlow. This is the third book in the Mind Over Monsters Freak Squad series thing. It's like Scooby-Doo on crack. It's great. The End of Nature by Bill McKibben. This is a environmental book that I've been wanting to read for a long time. I found a copy. A dollar. I got it. The Shadow Line by Joseph Conrad, because Erica already doesn't have enough nautical fiction in her life as it is, so might as well just keep reading more and more and more. And finally, the last book, uh, Bluebeard by Kurt Vonnegut. When you see a Vonnegut book at a bookstore for a dollar, you buy it, because that's just what you should do. And that that's it. That's the last book for this book haul. If you've read any of these books, thoughts and opinions, if you want to talk to me about whatever, I don't care, leave a comment below. Just don't tell me I have a book buying problem, okay? As if I don't already know that.